You hear that? Silence. TV's off. Sunday afternoon. No noise. No no games on. No excitement. Just a quiet Sunday afternoon. Because my team season is over. Now, I still love the playoffs. And I'm still watching every playoff game start to finish. But it is just a sad... Sunday, the first Sunday that your team ain't playing no more. I don't know what to do. Well, I know what to do. I'm going to watch the Packers and Cowboys here in a little bit. But, you know, normally after church on Sundays, I rush home to be able to watch kickoff of the Titans game because they usually play at noon. But not today. I stood around, shook people's hand, talked for a while, hung out after church because no reason to rush and get home. Titans ain't playing. I'm sitting here in my Titan sweatpants. Nothing to watch. I could pull up some reruns. I could pull up some old games. I have them all recorded on DVR on YouTube TV, but to be honest with you, most of the games from this season I don't care to watch again. So, I'll just sit here in the quiet. In all seriousness, I watch playoffs. I love the game. I'll watch every I'll watch every playoff game from here to the Super Bowl. I'm surprised at how badly Houston beat Cleveland yesterday. I'm very surprised. Um, I knew Houston could win. I picked Cleveland to win. I knew Houston could win. I didn't think they would dominate like that, um, especially against the Browns defense that had really been like one of the best in the league. I didn't think uh, the Texans would dominate like that. Joe Flacco turned back into a pumpkin. Uh, we knew it was bound to happen. So Houston, and I'm worried about Houston. I don't want to see any team in the AFC South succeed in the playoffs. So whoever's playing them next week, whether it's Buffalo, I don't think it's even possible for them to play Buffalo, whether it's Kansas City, whether it's Baltimore, like, I, I, or maybe they can't match up with Kansas City. I don't know. Whoever they play in next week. I need them to lose. Y'all excuse my dog. He's drinking water over there. That's the weird noise you hear. We had last night Kansas City and Miami in the coldest game ever. Dolphins, what a meltdown by the Dolphins, by the way, to end the year. What a meltdown. Like, can we talk about how this team looked far and away like they were going to win their division, be a contender, and to look at what ended up happening in the end? And you know what cost them? That Monday night game against Tennessee where they were up by 14 points with less than four minutes to go, and they melted down and lost. If they had just finished the job that night, they would be playing, they would have been playing this weekend in sunny, warm Miami, Florida. But they didn't get the job done, and so they ended up having to go on the road to Kansas City in the North Pole, pretty much. That was the temperatures. And what happened, happened. I think Kansas City would have beaten them in any temperature, but I digress. I I don't really care if Kansas City wins the whole thing again. Whatever. Seen it. I can live with it. Today, Green Bay, Dallas. I am rooting for Green Bay. I'm sorry. I can't. The Cowboys, no. I am rooting for Green Bay today. I don't think they're going to win. I think Dallas is going to beat Green Bay probably by multiple scores. But I'm rooting for the Packers, big time. Tonight, you've got the Matt Stafford uh, return to Detroit in the playoffs. Lions, Rams, I am rooting for Detroit. Detroit deserves this moment. A home playoff game. They won their division for the first time in 30 years. I'm rooting for Detroit, but man, I just feel like something bad's going to happen. I just feel like it would be a very Detroit Lions thing to do to to show up there tonight and lose to the Rams. 
I'm going with the Rams. I'm rooting for Detroit, but I think the Rams are going to get the dub tonight. And then tomorrow, you got maybe the Steelers and the and the Bills. I don't know what's going on with the weather. They postponed it. Now they're saying they may have to postpone it again because Buffalo is like a snow globe. But whenever they play, I'm picking the Bills. I'm picking the Bills to win whether they play Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I don't know. I'm picking the Bills either way over the Steelers. And then um, the Eagles and the Bucks. No AJ. Uh, Jalen Hurts coming off injury. We may get to see a little Mariota in there if Jalen uh, needs a break. Every, a lot of people are going to be picking Tampa Bay because of how bad Philly's looked. I'm going with Philly. I'm not going to overthink it. I think the Eagles can do enough to beat Tampa Bay. In terms of the Tennessee Titans, they ain't doing nothing today. Well, actually they are. They're interviewing people for their new head coaching vacancy. There are three people that I want for that job right now. The first, Bobby Slowick, Houston offensive coordinator. Uh, he was like second or third down my list. He might have moved up to first last night. He called a brilliant game against one of the NFL's best defenses. I would love Bobby Slowick. That would be a home run hire. The second is Ben Johnson, offensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions. Success follows him everywhere he goes in whatever area he's coaching. I would love if Ben Johnson gets hired. And then the OC for uh, the Bengals, Callahan. Um, didn't know a lot about him, but everything I've heard from him and interviews and his philosophies and the way he views offense and what he wants to bring to the table, would love him as, as a hire too. Those are my top three. Any of those guys get hired, I'll consider it a great hire. Um, and then there's some other guys that you might could talk me into. But either way, I have made it clear uh, on my podcast, Two Tone Talk. Link to it in the video description in the pinned comment below. Getting uh, a Firing Mike Vrabel was the right move. It was the necessary move. Mike Vrabel's a good coach. He will land on his feet somewhere either this year or next. But it was the right move for the Titans. They have not scored over 30 points in a game since December of 2021. They struggled to score 20 points in a game. Their offense has been abysmal for the last two seasons especially. And um, I, if you want to know my reasons, go to Two-Tone Talk. Listen to episode 72. I'll tell you everything you need to know. I'm about to go watch me some playoffs. I wish I was watching the Titans. But maybe next year. See you on the other side. Tighten up.